Hi guys and welcome back to another Let's Build episode. So last time we finished up our lower class district as well as the kind of colourful houses that we've got by the church. And in this episode we're actually going to get back onto the docks. I've been wanting to do some ships so I've been building a couple ships in the background. It's time to find a nice place to put them. Now if you're new to the channel at all, we do a lot of tutorials and time lapses just like this one. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you're interested in more of these Let's Build episodes, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to both the Lord's Port series as well as the full Let's Build Pataria series. Anyway guys, let's get into building. So I wanted to start off by extending the kind of uh, area that we've got where we've got where we can park up ships, the actual solid uh, kind of stone part of it. Um, as you know, towns and cities would grow, of course, this would also become a feature where you've actually got you know solid structures to push out from there. I did want to include a big rock. I was like, actually, I, I want to do like a feature which kind of separates these two out from each other. So the bit in orange that's over there is just a nice big rock that they've just kept. Why have they kept it? Who knows? <laughs> but um, I just wanted to do something a little bit different and just have that as a nice separator. So this is all one angle as well. So I've not done it like I did before where it follows the coast. This one is jutting out a little bit. And also building an actual pier. So we've got the first stone pier coming out. It doesn't come out like massively. We're going to have some pretty big kind of piers uh, sticking out later down the line when we get into the main part of the city. Um, you know as we get into the central part of this entire bay but I want to do something where we do actually have it and it's made out of stone again so underwater it's got quite a lot of support moving out um, I would hate to be the people that would do those kind of jobs uh, especially in these kind of times but uh, it'd be crazy so building on to this I wanted to do of course a crane so this is actually a design that um, I've nicked from somewhere else that we've actually built so uh, me and Didermis were building a little bit of a port outside of Kliptov um, never get, got to finish that kind of episode at some point we will definitely finish that episode but I really like the crane that we actually made I just thought it was really good it's got the kind of hamster wheel so you'd actually have you know people in there that are actually walking to be able to uh, move it and then that would tighten up uh, some of the ropes that you've got on there so you can then move it up and down so I wanted to go with that, but yeah, the design itself is really, really cool. Got a nice grindstone on the end there with some of the chains. Got a nice big counterweight as well. Um, so yeah, it's just, I love the design. I really like the design. It just, it just looks really cool. I think we're going to end up with quite a few crane designs as we build up Lord's Port, and especially on the waterfront side of it. So the next building that we're actually going to be doing, this is going to be a very, very big building. Um, this is going to be a warehouse. This is going to be the main warehouse of the Merchants Guild. So on the bottom floor, that's going to have lots and lots of warehouses. What I'm thinking is because it's part of the Merchants Guild, there might even be rooms on the top floors um, so that they can stay. So say if you've got your Merchant Guild uh, membership, you then get a discounted rate at staying you know, in the Merchants Guild building itself. And of course, because it's close to your ships and it's close to your cargo, it's probably going to be a good thing that you'd want to do. So we've got lots of stone brick on the bottom, getting a really, really strong base. Um, I wanted to have similar kind of colour schemes and a similar... Uh, design patterns as we've actually got with the Merchant's Guild Tower that we built so so many episodes ago now. So I wanted to really bring that through using the white that we've got uh, and also using yeah, spruce wood and having the barrels uh, in there as well. I, I just thought, you know, let's carry that through and really link these two together. Of course, that other one had sandstone in the tower, but actually the building next to it, which is part of the Merchant's Guild, has got that white on it, so I wanted to really have that. So building up this really nice balcony across the front of it, because I can imagine that their merchants would like to, you know, if they are staying there, maybe we've got a restaurant inside there um, and some other kind of amenities that are actually going to be within the building itself. They would probably want to look out over their own ships and look out over the waterfront. It's a really good place. I also wanted to go with another tower. Um, the reason being that actually putting in quite a few towers in, in here really does variate the whole city. It makes the skyline look different, otherwise you just end up with loads of roofs and you'll get general slopes when you've got houses following those slopes, but you don't really have anything that breaks it up. So we've already got a you know a couple towers, we've got three towers in total, we've got the one that's on an angle, the smaller one. Um, we've got the Merchant's Guild, we've got the Church Tower as well, so this is the Merchant's Guild Warehouse Tower I guess. 
But um, as you can see, I'm just putting in some details. We've got lots of loads of windows on here. So this is where I'm thinking of having those rooms. So, you know, you get your discount. Um, you can then stay the night. Um, lots of sailors could then stay here as well. I do think we're going to go with a restaurant as well. Might be we end up having almost like a mall in there, like a similar kind of thing to a mall because it is a really big building. So if there's ideas that you guys have got, let me know because I'd be really interested to hear that and I'll put them all inside the building so that when I get around to doing the interior I've got plenty of ideas of you know how does that fit in and you know what's the kind of thing is it a members only club for like the restaurant and the rooms or is it going to be more open to, to everything else those kind of ideas will be quite good and I'll really appreciate those so getting some really really big windows on the top and of course because it's all at an angle this is another one of our angled towers which means two of our two of our four towers are actually angled which is really cool um, this one was a lot easier actually of course because the angle is so slight it's just you know a block I think it's every seven blocks um, or seven or eight blocks that it actually ends up moving moving over uh, and that really made it a lot easier to build things like the roof uh, so I was able to make it go straight to a, a point which I was really happy with um, and also it just kind of lined up quite well but I didn't want to do anything fancy with this one the merchant guild tower itself has got quite a fancy roof and I decided to go with this one, having it a bit more plain. It is the warehouse and some, you know, living quarters and things like that. But guys, here is the finished build. So an absolute monster of a build this episode, building up that giant uh, kind of warehouse that we've got there. Lots of windows, really big spaces underneath it as well and everything kind of sticking out. I've put in some more ships as well off camera because I built them all off camera. Um, but they're now nicely sat on this whole pier. So guys, I think it's looking pretty cool overall. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.